and the trophy stayed under the shadow of Table Mountain for the fourth consecutive year. In 1986, Transvaal put in a bold challenge for the cup. Yanni Briach and his men were determined to take away the trophy from the counterparts in the Cape. Well, I think that uh, Scott Nodier was responsible. And here is the Transvaal ploy of two men in the lineup. Yanni Briach and Dan Barton. Yanni Briach right at the back. And there's a good little dummy by him. Back to Bardenhorst. And uh, sitting up the second phase. There it is. Went off his knee. It's not a knock forward. Lubbeskachny. But Chris Smith to the rescue. And a charge down. Hicho Vernas is going to score. And it's a try for Transvaal. Hicho Vernas has scored. The charge down. And an opportunist try for Transvaal. Puts them into the lead after less than six minutes play. A try there by Hicho Vernas of Transvaal. An opportunist try. Yes, Ian Kirkham. The extra two points, and it's there. It's a beautiful kick. Six points converted by Leon Kirkham. Western Province right on the attack. They're no more than 10 metres from the Transvaal line. Right at the back, Pat Small tapping it back. Coming through is Paul Bartman. Good work by Scott Berger. Leaning up for Province. Line side here, this is dangerous. Baba Knutza could score here. He's got a score, yes he has. Baba Knutza has scored for Western Province. A very good piece of work on the blind side. Opportunist up, Baba Knutza cutting inside his man. And a very good try for Western Province. There he is, Baba Knutza. And uh, can Kalaskov level the scores from about 13 meters in from the far touch line. You'll hear the crowd. Well, you didn't hear the crowd, so it means that it is six points to four. Transvaal leading by a goal to a try by Western Province. <laughs> Hoppy van Jarden, dat doe je met de lijn niet. Grootste paard voor Transvaal. Hoppy van Jarden had hem nog veel drie kwart lijn. Hij gaat ons weer. Hoppy van Jarden, dat is dat krijgen. Ja, Kennis wat van kijk of hij weer punten kan bijvoeg. Trek goed. Die lucht is daar, die lengte is daar. En die scharen vertellen die verhaal. 16-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-
Stuart Lansbury points to Northern Transvaal. A drop goal. There you have it, 29 minutes gone in the first half. The scrum about 10 metres outside the Transvaal 22 and Transvaal and Northern's back lining absolutely shallow. They're going to go flat out from the Transvaal back if they try to spin the ball. Robbie hoping to catch him offside. Danny Bird making it a channel 3 ball for him. And the Carl Liberty back to Van Hart. Out there to Kirkham. Out to Carl Liberty. Now he's got Pina to beat. Now Bird are covering as well. And Carl Liberty going great guns for it. And he's got, oh, he stepped. Carl Liberty stepped. And he didn't quite roll it down. And the front ball has got it. Carlton of the Earthing. Getting it. And converted by Kirkham. Well, I think that's a nice interesting try. I'm going to be sure to buy a rainy beer from the train. I'm going to get to the first one. 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 And of course, the Kakuya coming through now with the summer rain. And the bench starting to die away. That's not good. And uh, up and under, that's a difficult one. Borders can get up there. The Kirkham will get man, man and ball. And he's a curious trying to get underneath it. Down Barton Horse is in. But it's going to come back. Lumpenhaft doing good work. And uh, Willie Smith slipping. Out it goes to Nars. And he's looking for a drop goal. And he's slipping and sliding all over the place. And a penalty. A penalty given to Morgan Time Ball in an absolute gift position. Hanging in front of the post. The crowd don't like it. But the referee is right on the spot. And he has said that the Northern, the Transvaal players were in front. Remember, they'll have to be in front of the ball as long as they're in front of that last line of feet. They're all tied. And so here is an opportunity for Nassworth to level the score. Transvaal have had tries by Rada Mayer and Nortia. First and led by Kirkham. And a, and a penalty by Kirkham. Nassworth has kicked two drops and two penalties. Is it three penalties? Yes, it is. The scores are level. So 15 all the score. 30 minutes gone, 10 minutes left in this match, and Gergen looks for the good one. 18 points to 15. And Transvaal leading by two goals and two penalties to Northern Transvaal, two drop goals and three penalties. Dominator getting his full as well behind him. And that's a good hanging kick. That goes on Red Skinner and Barden Horse. I think I'll and off Alon took it very well there. Up to Nasberta. And now for another drop goal attempt. And wait for it. It looks good. It looks beautiful. It's there. Nasberta, his third drop goal. And uh, the scores are level again. And I must compliment Mr. Pierce over. He's handled it going very well indeed. In a very clean game. Hard, uncompromising stuff. Good rugby. And. Uh, Waiting for advantage. Referee waiting. Here's Nars. That's good refereeing again. Here it goes over. And it's over. 21 points to 18. And Nars were his fourth drop goal. So it's worth a 21 points. Transvaal 18. Still have no real. Reach the hurry here. You know, these three points will be the final nail in Transvaal Coffin. And he hit it beautifully. Right through the post. And there is Great scenes of joy and the magic of Nars Werther. <laughs>